Hi guys, this is Joni. I'm coming um, to you tonight to show you some of my ways of storing my washi and with a small Joann's haul. I'll start with that and get that out of the way. I had a coupon for 50% um, off. So um, I went there really with nothing in mind just to poke around and see if there was something maybe I needed that they had on sale and or that they had not on sale because it was 50% um, off a regularly priced um, coupon. Um, anyway, um, I picked up these pens and they said on the package that they do not bleed through. So I um, picked these up and but they were kind of pricey. They were $9.99 for three of them. But they're very, very fine tipped. They're made by a company called Micron. And they come in um, 05, 01, and 03. And I had um, learned of these pens from somebody I watched on YouTube. And that's what the pen looks like. And they came three in a pack. So I got these for um, $4.99. So I was happy about that. And um, I wanted to show you these. I didn't buy these tonight. But these are what I plan on using for my um, like highlighting. Because I'm just so afraid that the highlighting ink will go through the paper. Because the paper in all the Bibles they're putting out now are just super thin. So, um, this is what it looks like. It says smooth crayons. Now, I got these at Five Below. Um, coupon to provide had um, put them up on her Instagram. And um, she said how great they were and how smooth they were. And this is what they look like. I mean, look how much product you get in that. That's a lot. At the time, I had bought two of them. And they come in all the different colors. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 12, 12 colors. And I had bought two of them um, back then. So these are only $5. I know they're selling for something like $14.99 in, um, in Michael's. So that was a good buy. Um, so I'll use those to highlight. And when you draw with them, you can smudge them. But I don't think they'll smudge unless you're trying to smudge them. So I'm hoping they won't like smudge onto the paper that lays on top of it. Hopefully. I'm just, I'm new to this. So I, I'm sure I'm going to run into some mishaps and mistakes. But I had purchased these at the $1.50 bin that's by the register. They kind of have their own little $1.50 bin at Joann's. But it's not as big as the one at Michael's. But um, they had a couple of things. They had some stickers, and um, they usually have some pens or pencils. I haven't seen these in forever. They're um, the push-up pencils. If you can see, if you can, oh, there you can. If you see this, when that lead is done, you pull it off, and then you stick it in the bottom. And then it pushes up another piece of lead and it has pieces of lead like the whole length of the paint of the pencil so um, I thought my grandkids would get a kick out of it with um, Valentine's Day coming up because they have hearts on them and you know red stripes and so XO's so um, I'm giving them each a few of these you know with some other things um, for Valentine's Day I also got there, I got these um, two holographic um, pieces of paper, pretty wrinkled. I mean, it was really picked through there today, but you know, you get what you can get. Um, these were only, I think they were originally, no, I think they were 69 cents. But what I discovered when I got home is it's a giant sticker sheet. <laughs> It's not a piece of paper, so um, I hope they're easy to work with when I cut them. And I know for sure they'll stick because it's a giant sticker sheet. So I got two of those. And I got this piece of paper, and I couldn't pass it up. They had a sale, um, 12 pieces of paper for $2. Um, 
So this one was 79 cents. And I, um, I just got this one sheet. I have um, matching stickers that will go with this for a layout in the springtime. And um, purple's my favorite color, and this is my favorite flower, the hydrangea. So I was happy to see this. And that was all that I got there. Um, now, going on to washi, I wanted to, I didn't buy these tonight. I bought them in the past. Look at these beautiful washi. They still sell them there at Joann's. I love these. The edges are scalloped and it's, you know, like one of those, um, you have to peel the piece of paper. It has a backing, but there's that and there's that. And I have to re-roll this one up. It, it, you get a lot of product on it. Um, this is owls, but look at how adorable these owls are. If I can get you, aren't they cute? So I have those that I have to organize with my washi. And so this was my first ever washi um, storage. I picked it up at um, Ambet's. It's a thrift store. I really didn't know what it was for, but when I saw it, I thought, I think I can store some washi in this. And you see it back here. I mean, it's got a lot of wasted space, if you ask me. But I can pick, I can put my taller washi in there, like the fabric ones. I put those in there, and I kind of put them side by side. But um, I was so excited when I filled this completely up and I had no idea where I was going with washi because then it continued from there. Um, the second thing that I got for storing washi was I had watched a video that Coupon to Provide had done about her washi collection and she had made um, a washi holder out of... Um, out of a shoebox, and she made these inserts here with um, paper towel holders. And this was like some kind of a little shelf that hung on a wall, um, because you can see the shelving there. So I made the, um, you know, the paper towel holder thing here, and I, you know, I, I cut it and I covered it with. Um, that, um, oh, what do you call it? You know, that big roll of tape, it'll come to me. But anyway, um, yeah, and that also holds some of the larger washi tape. So then that was the second thing to become full. So then the third thing to become full was um, this one. I bought the crate stack that they sell. These are normally, I think they're $24.99, but I got this one 50 off for, uh, and these hold about 25, 60, 80. I would say 80 and 80 is, or 20, 40, no, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 120. I would say it holds about 120. That's averaging the, um, the big ones and the small ones. Something stuck back there. Jeez, I would not be a real good marketer for uh, Joanne uh, Michaels, I mean. Um, there is something. Yeah, some of my washi fell. So it's not letting me open it. But anyway, you get the idea. I'll have to go back to that and see what it is. So I bought a second one of that then. And the second one that I bought... This is, has two rows. They make another one with, I think, three or, is it three or five? I'm not sure. But, um, oh, look, this one opens perfectly. Um, so I bought another one, and I got this with, it was 50 off. One of those days where they had storage for 50 off. And then, um, and then... I had a 25 off all purchases, so bought it down to $8 and change. That was an absolute steal, and I felt very good to get that price. So um, I have that. This container 
pulls all of my Christmas washi. And it was just the perfect size. It all went in there. I had a lot of leftover washi from Christmas. I don't think I'll need to buy any next year. But you know I will at the end of the season just to stock up for the following year. But that's really the smart way to shop. And this one I got at Joann's with a 40 off coupon. I think it was originally $10 and I got it for 6 or was it a 60 off coupon and I got it for $4. I think that's what it was. Um, so this is where all my Christmas washi goes. But that still wasn't enough. So I got this case. And this holds. It has a lid with a handle. Carrying case. The top. These are a mess. I have to find a way of organizing these. Holds 50. The bottom holds 50. So you can get 100 washi in there. And um, I think I already told you my deal with the boxes. I, I'm trying to do the boxes like hearts for Valentine's Day, snowmen go in a snowman box, Christmas goes in a Santa Claus box, and if they put out a St. Patrick's Day box, I will get a green St. Patrick's Day box and like that Easter. And I'm trying to separate the holidays out so I can keep everything I need contained. And it doesn't have to be on my shelf all year long. Um, this I wanted to show you. Now, I got this at a thrift store for $1.98. I think at one time that this was used to store um, cassette tapes and my stamps fit in there perfectly. So this is what I'm using to store my stamp pads in um, because they say that you should store your stamp pads flat. Um, so, like, not on its side because then you will kind of redistribute the ink to one side. So to stamp evenly, you should store your stamp pads flat. So um, that's what I had this for. And I have more ink than this. I just have to uncover them in my, um, my room as I go through piles of things that I have stacked up and ready to be organized. But um, I might have this much ink. So I have lots of room to grow with this. But I loved this idea, and it was exactly what I had in mind when I saw it. Um, it's, you know, you just have to be careful. Um, I'm probably going to adhere it to the wall somehow, like the wall that it's standing behind. Because when it tips, all the ink goes flying. Um, so that was my storage ideas and my Joanne haul. And um, I hope that I was able to give you guys some ideas because I get a tremendous amount of ideas from you guys. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you for returning again. And um, if you're new, please come again. Um, comment and subscribe. We would love to see you again. Um, and I will be visiting you too and subscribing to you and we could be YouTube buddies. So that's it for tonight. Thank you. Good night.